so it's the morning after the Vanderbilt Ball and I am just getting ready for my maid to come and get me ready. Hi. And then Lady Ashbourne visits my room unannounced. Hi, did you have fun yesterday? Oh, I did, yes. It was splendid. Oh, that is great. I mean, after that whole Lord Bradbury situation, you really deserve some fun. <laughs> anyway, I think Miss Wilde danced with the prince like three times yesterday. She did not say that. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know though. And then she just left. I was absolutely in shock, but I also thought, Miss Wilde, if your bourgeoisie ass wants to see me jealous, I will give you jealous. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you doing today, Miss Croydon? So I entered the living room and she's just sitting there, like nothing happened. Like she didn't just steal my prince that I have been courting for weeks. And he's not even cute, so that's a huge sacrifice on my side. It's just... I just felt so betrayed. But you did this for what? Why not? Why? Why not? <laughs> Why though? This was sort of when I realized I made a mess. And not like a regular mess, but a mess the size of Mrs. Collins' hairdo last week at the opera. Which was huge. <laughs> Wait, I am so confused right now. So Miss Croydon enters the room and she seems pretty upset. And then Miss Wilde gets all like, passive aggressive towards her. And I'm just sitting there, barbecue sauce on my breakfast plate. And I have no idea what's going on. Miss Wilde here is a two-faced harlot who aims higher than her raggedy basil pad well, shoe. Well, maybe Miss Lindsay wouldn't be so confused if she actually paid attention to eligible bachelors at the ball yesterday instead of lying horse shit face under the table. I did what I did, I said what I said, end of story. Excuse me? So out of nowhere, Miss Wilde starts attacking me for no reason. I mean, she wasn't lying, but... If Miss Wilde was looking for Mr. Ashley yesterday, let's just say there is enough room under the table for two people. Well, at least she wasn't walking around painted like a cheap courtesan. What did you just say? She did not. What did you just say? I'll rip your head mm -hmm. piece off. I will rip your head piece off. Oh, yeah, I will rip it off. Oh my God, I yeah, will rip that it. fake head piece oh, off yeah, your head. I will it. rip it off. That is a worth oh, dress that you're wearing. Right yeah, give her what she deserves, Miss Corden. <laughs> like, if those wenches want to keep lying to themselves, I don't care. But we all know once I entered that ballroom, the prince was mine. 